Two loosely related symbols in the Wolfram language are sequence and nothing. Both sequence and nothing have an effect on enclosing expressions. Sequence can be used to splice elements into an enclosing list. This input, for example, splices A, B, and C into the enclosing list. And nothing is used to remove things from an enclosing list. For example, this removes A, B, and C from the list. The removal in that example is actually a two-step process. Nothing of A, B, C evaluates to the symbol nothing, and the symbol nothing is then dropped from the enclosing list. An important difference between sequence and nothing is that sequence has this effect on any enclosing expression, while nothing only works in lists. For example, the expression in this input, this input has a head of H rather than a head of list. Sequence in this input splices A, B, C into the enclosing expression, but nothing is not removed from an expression with a head other than list. The most common use of sequence is in splicing arguments into a function. For example, sometimes an input like this one with arguments and options for a function comes up in an enclosing program where some of the arguments and options are assembled separately, such as in a separate list. Including that list as the second argument in plot gives an error, since plot is not designed to do anything with arguments and options enclosed in a list, one way of, address of addressing that problem is by turning the list into a sequence, which is then spliced into the enclosing plot. The same effect can be achieved using apply and a pure function and in various other ways, but sequence is sometimes a more convenient way of doing this sort of thing. Sequence also comes up in representing certain results. For example, the result from applying this pure function is a sequence expression, as is the result from applying this rule. The double number sign in the pure function represents the sequence of arguments in the list, as does the double blank pattern in the rule. In both cases, since the result of the evaluation is that sequence of arguments, the system needs a way to represent what is essentially a headless sequence of arguments. All expressions in the Wolfram language have a head, but sequence expressions provide a way to represent the notion and the effect of a sequence of arguments that does not have a head. Sequence is a fundamental part of the language and has been part of the language since version 1. The symbol nothing wasn't added until version 10, which correctly reflects the fact that it was added because it's useful rather than because it is a critical part of the language. Probably the most common application of nothing is to remove things from a list. For example, this removes all of the even numbers from a list. This input replaces all of the even numbers with nothing, and nothing is then dropped from the enclosing list when the list is evaluated. The same effect can be achieved using sequence with no arguments, the empty sequence. For example, this input also removes all of the even numbers from a list. The empty sequence will not always work this way, though. For example, this program uses nothing to remove the even numbers by mapping a pure function over the list, but that program does not work if nothing is replaced by the empty sequence. Instead of removing the even numbers, the program with the empty sequence replaces the odd numbers with null. That happens because the empty sequence gets spliced into the enclosing if function, so the effect is the same as this input where if is called with two arguments rather than three. The symbol null comes up because if with two arguments returns null if the first argument is false, which happens in this example for all of the odd numbers. There are various tricks for getting a sequence to work in this example by using something that evaluates to an empty sequence rather than using the empty sequence directly. For example, this input also drops all of the even numbers from the list, as does this input. The same input with nothing works because nothing does not affect the if function. Nothing only gets dropped when it is an element in a list, and so in examples like this one it provides a straightforward and less seemingly tricky way of getting the desired effect. Sequence and nothing are handled at different places during evaluation. That difference does not have much practical effect in real applications, but it may be interesting for other reasons. Specifically, nothing is handled using a rule like the rule that is introduced by this tagged assignment, which defines a rule for the symbol alt-nothing. With that definition, alt-nothing works much like the built-in nothing and gets removed from a list by evaluation just like the built-in nothing. A rule like this is called an up value, which means that it is an evaluation rule that is attached to a symbol that is an element of the expression being evaluated. The behavior of the built-in symbol nothing is implemented in a built-in up value, together with a rule like this one called a down value that causes any arguments to be discarded.
Sequences handled differently in a special step relatively early in the evaluation process before application of general evaluation rules like up values. That difference between sequence and nothing has practical consequences only if there is an evaluation rule that gets used after the rules for sequence but before the rules for nothing. One example is the rule introduced by this assignment which defines an up value for a symbol x. After that, in this evaluation, since user-defined up values get used before built-in up values, the rule for x gets used before the built-in rule that would have deleted nothing from this list. Sequence, however, will still splice arguments into an enclosing expression since sequence is handled before up values, including user-defined up values. A rule like that would be unusual in practical applications, but if it came up, consideration of the order of steps in the evaluation process could help explain what happens. One issue that does come up sometimes in practical applications when using nothing or sequence is actually a consequence of how part assignments work. Starting with a list as the value of a symbol, a part assignment is an assignment like this one that can be used to change an element in the value of that symbol. For example, this changes the first element in the value of x from 1 to 42, and this shows the new value of x. The left side of that assignment is a part expression, which is why this is called a part assignment. The part function is more commonly entered with the double square bracket notation. Now consider what happens if nothing is used in that part assignment. The value of x now appears to be a list with the first element dropped, but a second assignment of to part 1 of x does not drop any additional elements, and x still evaluates to a list with two elements. The same thing happens if a part assignment is used with an empty sequence. Assigning an empty sequence as the value of the second element in the value of x results in x evaluating to a list with now only one element, but repeating that same assignment does not drop any additional elements. In fact, it might have been expected that this input would generate an error since it seems to be assigning a value to the second element in a list that only has one element. The explanation for all of this behavior is that these part assignments do not, in fact, delete any elements from the value of x. Definition of x shows the value of x is still a list with three elements, where the first element has been replaced by nothing, and the second element has been replaced by the empty sequence. Part assignments change elements in the value of the symbol, but they do not evaluate the result, and since nothing and the empty sequence only have an effect when the list is evaluated, Nothing and the empty sequence are simply inserted into that list, and the list remains otherwise unchanged. As noted earlier, this doesn't really have anything to do with nothing or sequence. It's simply a feature of part assignments not evaluating the modified value of the symbol. Here is another assignment that inserts a sum as the third element in the value of x. x will now evaluate to a list with the result of that sum as the one remaining element, but definition of x shows the actual unevaluated value of x with the assigned elements unevaluated. The value of x can be replaced by the new evaluated list using an assignment like this one which evaluates x to get a new list and then assigns that new list as the value of x. After that, definition of x shows that the value of x is now the list after evaluation. There is a summary of the basic evaluation process in the Wolfram documentation in the tech note on evaluation of expressions.